Hi guys, it's me, it's Anne. I'm back. Anyway, since I had so many issues with the three palettes, one look times three bingos, I'm going to just do kind of something chatty and put on the cream makeup and we will go from there. How about that? Anyway, how you doing? It's Tuesday evening here. I live in Oregon, so I'm on Pacific time. And according to my time, it's the 12th at 8.15 p.m. How special. Anyway, what I'm using is the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. It's this lovely stuff. I really like it. It's very nice stuff. It's got a little sunscreen. Not a lot of sunscreen, but a little sunscreen. So you can either put it on with more sunscreen and use it by itself, or you can put it under a foundation or whatever. It's, it, I love it during the summer most of the time, and if I'm just trying to do something quick and light, I use it anytime. I've got it squirted out on a little glass palette down here. I'm just going to pick it up with my brush and get to work. Now, yeah, I know, it's kind of hard to talk while you're putting the makeup on, especially around your mouth, but, see, I like this, I like this better than some of the BB creams, because some of the BB creams are actually a little on the dark side, and I'm really pale during the winter. I get pitiful pale during the winter. But, being as I'm up in the mountains at the edge of the high desert section of Oregon, I tend to wear my sunscreen stuff pretty much year-round since I moved here. I was born and raised pretty much at sea level. Washington, D.C. was right across the river from the hospital I was born at in Alexandria, Virginia. Let me tell you, I know why they say it's a swamp over there, because it actually was. They filled in a swamp to build that town. And it's still pretty swampy. It just is. But being that close to the Chesapeake Bay, all kinds of fresh seafood all the time. It was great. You go there's there's a seafood market on Main Street over in D.C. where you can go right up to the wharf, buy it right straight off the boat when it comes in. Chesapeake, Maryland, blue crabs by the bushel. Yeah. Take them bad boys home, steam them up, and start picking. No, I'm not the least bit Southern. Not me. Nope. Now, being born and raised Southern and being born and raised on Southern cuisine did not help my figure much. Fry everything. Just please fry everything because apparently that's what you had to do. That's just the way it works. Must fry the whole bleeding world. However, I am also well aware that some of my own habits got added into that, as well as having an eating disorder that goes along with some of my other mental health issues. Basically, if I was upset by anything, I would go hide and eat. Because apparently, Go hide and eat was what I was supposed to do. Just ask me. I didn't understand why. It felt like that was what I was supposed to do, but it felt like that's what I was supposed to do, and that's what I ended up doing. So through lots of stuff that I went through as a kid, and two really unfortunate early first and second marriages, 
Yeah. It doesn't take that long to put on a lot of weight. It really doesn't. I actually wish it did. I wish it took a lot longer to put it on than it does to take it off. There you go. I don't always get what I want. I don't always get what I wish for. Which really, really sucks. But it's what I've got. Anyway, this is the AOA Studio Sculpting Stick. See, it's got that interesting sort of grayish tone that works really well for creating a shadow. Get started on this before it starts to dry down too much. Now, this brush that I'm using is the little Kabuki brush that I picked up from AOA Studios. And it works delightfully with this cream product and a couple others. I think I've got a puppy hair somewhere on my nose. Let me get this finished up here. Do, 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 do. A little more of this, just so it looks like I've actually got a jawline. Okay, I may at some point have to put some pictures up while I'm doing one of these and doing one of these chatty things and talking about weight and whatsoever. So you can see a comparison of what my face structure looks like now compared got a little prominence right here so I kind of knocked that back a little bit and I've got a really puny bridge to my nose so I give it a little contour so that it stands out just a little more at the bridge plus I wear glasses you've got to put some definition sometimes so that people can see things Now, since nobody's head is a perfect shape, there's always something. I've got a little prominence here, and I put a little bit of the concealer there on each side. And then for some reason, somebody just had to put two divots here. So I stick some of the, the um, highlight in there so it kind of evens itself out with all of this. I kind of like not having my face look too weird. Yeah, and any of you who want to tell me it looks weird anyway, be your mama. Anyhow, this is the bronzer. It's a very pale one, which is fine, because like I keep telling people, I don't go out in the sun much. I've got an issue with an autoimmune disease that is really, really sensitive to UV light. And I can be feeling pretty good and walk out in the sunlight and in a few minutes, I start feeling like I've been out there for hours and I'm exhausted. And let me tell you, that is not what I consider a fun day. So I like wear massively concealing clothes unless it's just too hot to be out there anyway. But I almost never go without a hat, especially in the summer. I try to stick to the shade. I try as much as possible to stay, you know, out of direct sunlight, which is a real pain in the rear. I used to love to get out in the sun. And I couldn't understand why I got so ill so quick for being out there. And it, it's just, it's annoying. Now, got a little bit of shape to the face. Not a big deal.
And then I put this down and I pick up my e.l.f. little peachy blush thing. Now, this is one of the little Sephora sponges that came in one of their play boxes. I picked up a single play box that they had on sale as a leftover. It was in there. I like it. It's got it, it's good for doing some of these cream things because I've got the blusher on this end and then on this side I've got that cream highlighter. So, you know, just kind of pat it in there. You don't have to get too crazy. And you take it up around the hairline like you do with the bronzer just to warm up the face a little. Hit it down here down with the other block bronzer, put a little more on here, da, 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 da. It's just a nice kind of a peachy little glow. It's not an outrageous amount of color. And considering it's the time of night it is, I'm going to get finished with this and probably end up just, you know, taking a few pictures once I'm finished here. So I can put it up on the Instagram. Yay, Instagram. And then um, end up washing it off because the little town I live in, literally, it just, about this time of night, they just roll up the sidewalks. You know, the, even the grocery stores only stay open until about 11. <coughs> now, this is the... Um, cream highlighter that I got from that AOA haul. The color is called Lucky. And you know what? I think it's pretty lucky. It picks up really nicely on the sponge. And then I can do my little dabs and kind of run it up this way and get into that spot there. And same thing over here. Kind of work it in there and it just, it's got just a nice quiet little glow to it. Again, I'm not getting ready to go out and do anything glam or us. Mm, a little bit here and run it this way and run it this way. Run it right down the center of my little nose. It's a cute little nose, but it's a little nose. Not so bad. Still got that kind of dewy thing going on because it's all creams, but it's for the most part set down pretty well. I don't think I'm going to have to powder it. We'll see because now I'm going to get to work on some of the other stuff like my eyes. So we will see whether or not it needs to be powdered once it's had a little more time to settle in. Now I just randomly grabbed some of my stuff out of the drawer and said let's see what we do with this. I'm going to start with my favorite new stuff. This is the cream white concealer from AOA Studio and it tells you you can use it as a concealer, it tells you you can use it as a highlight and you know works really well as an eyeshadow base. I just happen to like it. And I've got this lovely little double-ended sponge that's basically two minis stuck together. It's one of those little funky shaped ones. I'll put that on. Put this all over the eye using the little sponge. Now, for some of you, you have your preferences on sponges and all that. I got this one at Grocery Outlet. 
not a big deal. I had lost one of the other sponges I had, and this was a dollar. So, yeah, I've got it. And for this kind of thing, it's about perfect. It's got that little pointy end that I can get, well, actually two little pointy ends, that I can get up in that corner of my eye with. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice bounce to it. I've got a couple other things like this one that I got from Dollar Tree that's got a very similar feel. It's got that little pointy end. It's got the little buffer end. And it's not, it's not that much different feeling than the Sephora one. And when I got one of my Profusion palettes, there was one of these that was in part with the, the section of brushes that came with. And yes, it's clean. It's stained. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it, oh, it's a nice feel and it feels great when it's wet. It feels great when it's dry. And then there's the AOA Studio sponges, which, you know, just, they rock. They seriously rock. And if you get this, you can get specific ones that will donate money to Animal Shelter. So, and those are like $1.55. And they're beautiful. They've even got a velour sponge now. Of course, I'm still real partial to these. These are the ones I started with eons ago. Just a little triangle brush that almost anybody who has ever worked stage makeup will look at you and go, yeah, that's a sponge. No question. And they can make it sing and dance. Sometimes do card tricks. And they work just fine. Get the brushes and sponges that make you happy. You don't have to have a particular brand. You know, just, just, just saying. That would be me. Anyway, let's see. I've got face on. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna put my eyebrows on before I forget. I tried to forget the other night. One part of the triple threat vid has me looking at my eyebrow pencil after I'm like headed into the middle of the second look and going huh basically this is what you would have seen if I hadn't managed to end up with corrupted film when I did that three looks one palette three way bingo is you would have seen me drawing my eyebrows on. You would have seen me put using the same um, moisturizer as my foundation, the same cream products that, that all came from the haul, except for the e.l.f. blush. have a cold. My nose is peeling because of the cold. Yes. Anyway, I will have to manage as it is. Alrighty, let's see what kind of a mess I can make today. Let's see. I want to start like I've been doing with my eyes lately and put something interesting under the lower lashes. Now this is a little bit of a shimmer. I'm going to take my DIY Max Mac Fix Plus, better known as water and glycerin. If you really want it to be like Mac Fix Plus, you put a little toner in it too. But the glycerin and the water is mostly what works to keep the
keep the colors nailed down and make them look a bit brighter. Because the vegetable glycerin is basically just a bit of oil. Alrighty. Yeah, I like that blue. I like that blue a lot. Hmm. Hard to see. I'm going to have to fiddle with the lighting again. That's alright. That's what post production's for. In case you didn't know. There are a lot of different ways to edit the films. One of them is just to correct some lighting and make sure your colors actually look like what your colors really look like. And then there are the ones where you can get into post-production and go absolutely ham. I kind of like that phrase. Everybody used to just say whole hog and now we just say go ham. It sounds a little better, but you know, got to get used to it. I'm still trying to get used to all of the slang terms that get used for social media. I'm going, geez, guys. It's like, I speak hippie. I speak a little bit of jive. Very low. But a little bit of jive. But yeah, I speak hippie. I speak a little bit of be beatnik. I keep telling people I don't have a real good grasp on learning other languages. And that includes the current slang of the day. I'm not really great at it. It's like even the, the stuff that I grew up with, you know, the um, hippie and the jive and that kind of thing. I never learned all of it. I never learned enough to necessarily keep up with some of the other people I knew. It just wasn't the thing. I know a few words. Mostly I can cuss you out in several, but hey, that's not necessarily where we want to go. Okay, speaking of where I want to go, let's go here. Now I've got my little magnetic palette with some of my ColourPop stuff. And let's just see what happens. I've got this little palette here that's got a few things in it and this one over here that's got I don't have that much color pop yet but I've got you know a few things in my little palette and I'm going hmm let's see what kind of a mess I can make today yes now watch if I do this I end up with kind of choppy lines here because my crepey eyes just curl up into little ridges, which is really annoying. I'll be right back in a second. My editing program was about to tell me that the last film that I just put together was finished being transferred to final film product. And it makes a rude noise when it does it. So yeah, I figured I would spare you the rude noisage. Now the color pop color I'm working with is kind of a more towards a green teal. 
but it's in the blue greens and I saw it and said I must have this like I said I don't have a lot of color pop yet if I remember to do it I may stick the name of the color down in the description box but that's not what I'm here about right now I'm just playing but it is a shimmer so yeah I spritzed the brush just a tad La 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 Just a little more. Do do. Doodly doodly do. I love playing with these colors. I really do. They're a lot of fun. Makeup wipe, makeup wipe. Actually, truth be told, diaper wipe, diaper wipe. I was a dancer a few years back. I took up belly dance as an exercise program. Don't laugh. Believe it or not, large sized belly dancers do very well. Thank you very much. It's more what most of the ethnic community that this comes from is expecting is women with curves. They're not really expecting tiny people. So, Part of the things that we did when our my dance class was dancing is that we would do our recitals and such by going to some of the local restaurants in Virginia where we were at the time. And we would dance. There was a um, Persian restaurant in Fairfax called Pars and we danced there and we got fed we got some of the most delicious food and then there was um, a restaurant in Old Town Alexandria that we would go dance at and for some reason the name just went right out the top of my head anyway lovely place and we would get fed and if we did really good, we would sometimes get tips from the regular customers. It was a blast. And I enjoyed the heck out of it. But that's beside the point. I started using baby wipes in my makeup kit for doing that makeup years ago. And yeah, I will still get really, really nice... Um, makeup wipes for specific purpose when if it's something big or if I'm putting on makeup that I know is going to like stain the heck out of me like lots of reds that kind of thing but just in general for doing something quick like when I'm sitting here I do just fine with the with the baby wipes and they're a whole lot cheaper I mean you can get inexpensive baby wipes but you can get a ton package of inexpensive baby wipes you do something like go to the Dollar Tree and get the makeup wipes that they have for a dollar. But there's like only 25 or 30 in the pack. You go over to the baby side and pick up diaper wipes 
from the same dollar store and you get a pack that's got 70, 80, 100 in there. And it's like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that cheap. My little dog has decided he must explore the closet behind me right now. He just must. It, it, it is a moral imperative. It is beyond his capacity to stop. So when you see the drapery behind me squirreling around and hear little scruffling noises, that is my little dog in explorer mode in my closet. It, it's just, that's what it is. Because the boy is just determined to be part of every filming session, usually in this way. I'm having entirely too much fun, guys. Somebody stop me. All right. Set that down a little bit. Don't, don't want it to look too sharp a line. I don't know why, but... It kind of depends on how I'm feeling because, I mean, you get some things that just look wonderful if you do the sharp lines and the sharp demarcation and sometimes you get stuff that looks absolutely poo and i'm, I'm not feeling the poo today close these up watch me make a mess la 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 I cannot draw straight lines. I really can't. Especially unless I hold my mouth just right. No, I don't do the wing thing because if I do, look at my eyes. Look at the hooding on my eyes. Do you really think a wing is going to survive that? No, I didn't think so. Now, the problem with doing liner, or one of the problems, is my eyes don't lay quietly when they're closed all the time. And then you get this kind of stuff. And... The other problem is my hands shake. So you get this kind of stuff. Let's see if I can knock some of that out just a little bit with the edge of the brush from that gold color. Helps a little. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. I can live with it not perfect. I've learned to live with it not perfect tiniest Sephora pencil on the planet. Again, it was part of the play box. They sent me this tiny little pencil and I've had to sharpen it a couple of times. So now it's an even tinier little pencil. Now, 
some of the dancers I used to dance with would actually use real powdered coal when they were doing this, but... was not my thing. Yeah. Not perfect. That's okay. Throw some mascara on. No, I am not dinking around with eyelashes when I'm getting ready to go to bed in a few minutes after I finish this up. Maybelline Total Temptation. Basic. I've got what, the remainder of a sample of the Bad Girl Bang. I've got several other bits and pieces of mascaras I've tried. I've got some LA Girl. I've got some Wet and Wild. I've got some Elf. Little of this, little of that. The Maybelline in the pink container is my current absolute favorite. Love it. Love it, love it. Unless I'm getting down to doing... Now, see? Here's my bad girl bang. I really do have it. It came in a sample thing. It's like, but the Total Temptation is my usual go-to, except when I'm putting on mascara on the lower lashes. Then I drag out the AOA Skinny. Because it's got a teeny tiny little bitty wand. Which makes it much easier to do this. Get in here with these itty bitty little lashes. They're not as itty bitty as they were. Now, if you've been watching my stuff since the very beginning, you may have noticed that I now have eyebrows. Not just painted on. I have eyebrows. I started off messing with my eyebrows because of a sample that I got in that Sephora play box of a lash serum and I started putting it on not just my eyelashes but on the eyebrows because I had no eyebrows it was ridiculous I had no eyebrows hated it and Once I was out of that sample, now the stuff that was in the Sephora sample box was, you know, it was expensive stuff. They wanted 65 bucks for a refill. And I'm going, yeah, not so much. So I did this. This is going to be kind of hard to see. It's the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Now the nice thing about the Rimmel Lash Accelerator is the wand in here has actually got grooves cut in it so you can comb through your eyebrows as well as put it on your eyelashes. I now have eyebrows and my eyelashes are long enough for me to do something with. I mean, I've actually got some, some enough length that when I put mascara on, you can see that there's something that the mascara is clinging to and it's not nearly as you know, mascara used to barely clear my eyelids because my eyelashes were so short. Now, see, that's the e.l.f. Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. Little tap. This is the rose gold color. And I just smeared it on my nose. That wasn't where I was aiming. 
Anyway, I now have glowy stuff in the corners of my eyes and a glowy side of my nose. Anyway. What you think so far? Picking up the lipstick that was left on the desk from the last time. For one thing, I just plain like it. This is the Femme by Clean, Clean Color. And the color is Cranberry Mix. I picked this up just before the holidays. And it has stood me well through the holidays. Anyway, last little touch. I'm going to put on some jewelry that I just got. Yes, now anybody who is a big girl like me who doesn't like a necklace that's too short, too tight, too whatever. This one comes with a really, really nice chain that has an extender with it. It's a nice heavy chain. You don't have to worry about breaking it in a hurry. And these earrings are just gorgeous. They're a repeat of the design in the necklace. Now, for any of you who do not know, since I'm an opinionated old thing, I'm also a fan of Notorious RGB. Ugh, BG. I'll get it right in a minute. I have dyslexia. What do you want? Anyway, Notorious RBG, the Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and these pieces are based on her favorite piece of jewelry to wear when she is at the Supreme Court, and she is going to be doing the um, write-up for the dissenting vote on any decision. And... Yeah, I'm a bit of a rebel. I'm resisting going backwards in our country as much as I can. That's my opinion on our current political standings. I think some, too many people are trying to take us backwards. We need to go forward. We need to move towards something better instead of going back to things that were so hurtful. Now, if this opinion annoys you, I get it. Feel free to unsubscribe. Won't be the first time. If you like the message at this little tiny end, good on you. To ask you to join, join what? No. If you want to join something, you'll do it yourself. I am not sponsored by the company that makes these lovely pieces, but I enjoy showing them off. I enjoy wearing them. And I enjoy having people understand why I wear them. I'm a resistor. We need to go forward. Be good.